Hello everyone, this is part two of divisibility. If you're coming for the first time on my channel, please watch part one of divisibility test. So it will be very easy for you to understand. This is a complicated problem. So try to understand and concentrate on the mouse pointer. Question number one, on dividing a number by 899, we get 63 as remainder. If the same number is divided by 29, what will be the remainder? A number is divided by 899. Here the number is not given. So what we are doing, we will assume that the number is x. What is the formula to find the number? If the number is divided by 899, this is our divisor, this is our dividend. If you want to find the number, what you will do? x is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Do you know that formula? If you want to find the number, divisor into quotient plus remainder. Again, this is given that 899 is dividing the number. But instead of this 899, if 29 is our divisor, then what is the remainder that we have to find out? So what you, what you are going to do here, we will divide 899 by 29. Or you can say we are taking factors of 899 in terms of 29. So simple, simple way is divide 899 by 29. When you will divide, this is a, your divisor because you are dividing this 899 by 29. This is your divisor. So what is your quotient? When you will divide this, you will get 31 as the quotient. Okay. So I am splitting this in the terms of 29 into 31 and Q I am keeping it as it is. Here also I am dividing 63 by 29. If you will divide, what you will get? 2 as the quotient, this is your divisor, 2 is quotient and 5, 5 is our remainder. Now see this red part, 29 into 31 cube plus 29 into 2. This 29 is common, so I am taking it out. What is inside the bracket? 31 cube plus 2, this is nothing but our quotient and this is remainder. When you will divide x by 29, you will get this as the quotient and this is our remainder because number is not given so you cannot find that number but you can find what is what we have to find here we have to find only remainder so what is your remainder fine second question is what least number should be added to 41116 so that the sum is completely divisible by 8 divisibility test for 8 last three digits must be divisible by 8 what is the rule last three digits must be divisible by 8. So what we are going to do here, instead of taking, taking this number, we will take last three digits and we'll divide. 116 divided by 8. What you will get? Quotient is 14 and remainder is 4. Divisibility test for 8 is last three digits must be divisible by 8. So I'm dividing 116 by 8. What I'm get, getting? quotient as 14 and remainder as 4. You can divide and check. Remainder is 4. This is not divisible by 8. So to make it divisible by 8, what least number should be added? What least number? If you will add 4, this will become 8 and it will be divisible by 8. So what we are going to do? We will make this 8 by adding 4 to it. So what least number should be added? 4. If you will add 4, this will become 8 and this number will become 11120 which is divisible by 8. So our number is 4. Third question. The difference between two numbers is 1365. Difference is given. Numbers are not given. On dividing the larger number by the smaller, we get 6 as quotient and 15 as remainder. The smaller number is Difference between two numbers, not given, numbers are not given. So we will assume that the number, numbers are X and Y. Their difference is 1365. We are dividing one by another. So here we are assuming that our X is greater number and Y is smaller number. So what you will get on dividing, see X is your number, you are dividing it by Y. What is your quotient? Quotient is given six. What is that formula to find the number? We will multiply divisor with the quotient and will add the remainder to find the number. I am using the same formula here. 
six is our quotient y is our divisor and 15 is our remainder so this equation is formed as our first equation is this x minus y is equal to 13 one three six five okay so i'm going to put this value of x in to see this equal to sign it means x is equal to six plus six y plus 15 so instead of this x i can write this also in this equation so what i'm doing i'm writing this equation but instead of this x i'm putting its value and what is its value six y plus 15 and i'm keeping this as it is so six y plus 15 minus y is equal to one three six five 5y is 6y minus y. 6 minus 1. Nothing is here means 1 is here. 6 minus 1 is 5y is equal to 1365. This 15 is here on the left hand side. We will take it to the right hand side. When we take the number to the right hand side or from right to left, its sign changes. Whenever you change here, whenever you will change its position, sign will change. So this plus will become minus here. So that, that is why this is minus. Now we will subtract what you will get. 1, 3, 5, 0. This 5 is in the multiplication with y. We don't want this 5. We want the value of y. So what we will do? We will divide both the sides by 5. Or you can take this 5 to the right hand side. This is with the multiplication sign. When it will come here, it will become division. When you will divide, you will get this number 2, 7, 0 x minus y is equal to 1, 3, 6, 5, our first equation. So, see, we have to find the value of only y, the smaller number, no, smaller number. But I am telling you in this equation how to find the value of larger number also. If you will put this value in equation 1 or 2, this is our equation, you can put this in equation one or 2 or in this equation 1, in this equation 1, you can get this value. When you will put this equation here, See this, minus sign will become plus. So, 2, 7, 0, we will add. Our fourth question is, a boy was asked to divide 15980 by 119. What he was asked to do? He was asked to divide 15980 by 119. But he made some mistake in copying the divisor and obtained quotient as 1, 2, 3 and the remainder as 1, 1, 3. And we have to find his mistake. See, according to boy, the dividend is same. The number which we have to divide, the number is same, 1, 5, 9, 8, 0. Quotient he is getting 1, 2, 3 and remainder as 1, 1, 3. So, we will write that formula. Dividend is given, quotient is given, remainder is given. But that divisor is changing. Instead of this 119, he took some other number. So we will assume that the divisor is x because we don't know what number he took instead of this 119. So we will assume that the number is x. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder, our formula. What we will do? We will keep this divisor here only because we want to find the value of divisor. So we will keep this here. We will take this remainder to left hand side with the dividend. So dividend minus remainder because it is with the plus sign. When it will come, when this remainder will come to the left hand side, the sign will change. It will become minus and we will divide it with our quotient because it is with multiplication sign. When it will change its position, sign will also change. This multiplication will become division. So our equation Div divisor is equal to dividend minus remainder upon quotient. What is our dividend? This is our remainder. See, dividend is 15980 minus our remainder 113 divided by 123, our quotient. We will subtract this. What is our, what is the number? 15860 after subtracting 113 from it, we will get this and we will divide this by 123. After dividing, what you will get? 1, 2, 9. You have to divide and find this. 1, 2, 9 is our answer. So, what is the divisor? Divisor, divisor is 129. Instead of this 119, he took 129. Therefore, his quotient and remainder changed.
therefore our answer is 129 and 119 is our actual number instead of this he took this as the number this is his this is his mistake thank you for watching my channel keep subscribing